Hello guys, today I want to talk with you about the Y end stop that we have installed here. The Y end stop. This is the piece that I call it the mount. And <clears throat> you have here a hole if you want to put a um, screw to screw it in place here on this uh, injected uh, molding part. Okay? We have two heatset inserts and this is a press fit here in this place. This cable is on the way, but you get the idea. Okay. <coughs> and it's in his place, the mount. Now we have the cable and the Y end stop. I routed the cable from here through the loom and it's coming here. Uh, red and black wire, but it doesn't matter the color, you can choose whatever color you want. And I have installed this in the um, in the place where it was the uh, pressure sensor. These other two ports that they usually uh, use for um, X and Y end stops, uh, they we cannot use them as end stops because uh, how it was made, um, these ports they are used only for the sensorless. But it doesn't matter if you still want to use the uh, pressure sensor you can put this uh, cable as I will show you uh, in a <clears throat> couple of seconds in uh, some uh, ports here because we still have here some uh, ports available and now we have two solutions for connecting the Y end stop one of the solution is like this to connect it now it's uh, not permanent it's uh, provisory in these two pins here if you are not using the display or if you are using the display this pin is not used this one from the second port uh, the seventh pin this is pc uh, 8 and ground or you can um, delete the pressure sensor and you can install it here like so. Let me remove this from here. So this depends on how do you want to use the end stop. So you can use these two pins from here that they are not used even if you are using the display the knob display or you can use uh, uh, the pin for the pressure sensor because I think that you will not use the pressure sensor because it's not that accurate another pin that we, can, we could use is the one from the filament sorry this one from the filament detection but this is more useful than the pressure sensor okay this is the end stop mount and we will put the end stop here we will route the cables through this channel and we will mount this like this with the end stop pointing downwards to the gantry we will mount it here but let me assemble it and i will show you later okay we put this in place be careful when you are pressing the um, end stop into the channel don't um, pinch the wires okay and this is how it looks we will put here a um, grab screw not a grab screw with uh, we will put here um, this is here where it is here it is um, self-tapping screw okay I put a screw, there is another hole 
for uh, the purpose of this video I will put only one and uh, let's install it in the place okay we have installed it I put only one screw but it's another screw for securing this in place and we can adjust this accordingly but at the maximum position it should uh, still trigger where when the gantry is coming to the Y maximum okay the cable as I said is routed through here zip tied here and this is how it's all and now let me show you the firmware part and now let's talk about the firmware we'll go to the machine the printer.cfg and we'll go to the x not x y here is the y okay so here we can put the pc8 if we will install it in the um, extension port for the display or we will put pc15 PE15, sorry, it's PE15, okay, and let me double check, not 15, it's uh, 12, we'll put it in the Z-axis limit, where now uh, it's installed the um, pressure sensor, okay. So it's 12, not 15. Let me delete this. Okay. Save and restart. Okay. And now to test it, we will wait to boot. We have here. Now it's open. Okay. And I will press the end stop. But I need another hand to show this. So what I will do, pressing the end stop and keep uh, pressed here, we uh, make another query here. And if it, when it's pressed, we see here triggered, it means that we are on the money. Okay, and now the Y end stop it's uh, pressed, and let's make a query to see uh, if it is triggered. And it is triggered. Now if I release, you hear the click. Now it's open. So this is how you do it. Enjoy and happy printing. Guys, this was the short uh, tutorial for the Y end stop install for the SVO8. If you like this type of content, uh, hit the like button. If you want to um, find more about our projects, hit subscribe because we have more awesome projects. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments or join our Discord server. Ciao guys!